Hello students, today we'll discuss one question of PDA that is to design a PDA for the language L is equal to W, W, R where W belongs to A comma B plus. Okay, so what does that mean? So we have a language in which the strings will be the first part of the string will be a combination of AB, any combination of AB excluding null. Okay, so we, we should have something here that is either I can have A here or I can have B here or I can have any combination of here. So that is the first part of the string and in the second part of the string I will be having the exact opposite of the first part of the string. That is suppose if W is equal to A, A, B then this string will be B, A that is I should design a PDA that should accept this kind of string. Okay, so uh, sometimes we call it as a even palindrome problem also. Okay, so what we have it is a palindrome actually it starts from here I mean if you read from here also and here also it will be the same. So it is a palindrome fine. So what we have we have the first part of the string as any combination of AB then followed by the exact reverse of the first part of the string. Okay, and we have plus here that means it is a positive closure that means we should have something here. We, we cannot have a null here in this case. Okay, now if you give, go back to my previous videos, we have already discussed a similar kind of question that was to design a PDA for a language L is equal to W C W R. Okay, now what is the difference between uh, this one and that one? Okay, now in this one if you see we have between W and W R we have one separator C. Okay, so what logic we applied in this one that is we have to make sure that this part of the string needs to be the reverse of this part of the string. Okay, so what we did whatever elements came for this first part of the string we pushed it into the stack. Suppose we have this w is equal to a b b. Okay, so what we did we have a stack here we have in z naught and the first a comes we push it the second b comes we push it the third b comes we push it. Now, if you see from top to bottom, we have B, B, A. Okay. If you put this W, uh, this uh, W in this language, we'll get a string as A, B, B, C, then B, B, A. Okay. So, what you did? We started from this one. This A is pushed in. This B is pushed in. This B is pushed in and we have got B, B, A here. Okay. This A is on to the bottom. Then on top of that, there is B. On top of that, there is B. So, uh, so on the top, in the stack we have b here now the c came so what we did we simply bypassed it we went to the next part of the string bypassing c okay now the next part of the string is starting from the alphabet that is there on to the top of the stack so we have b here so for this b we will pop this out for this b we will pop this b out for this a we will pop this a out so that was the logic in that one okay but in that logic uh, there was uh, I mean uh, very uh, simple thing in that because we have one separator between the W and WR but in this one we don't have any separator. I don't know uh, in fact if I see it manually I know that which is W and which WR but our com computer system does not know which part of the string is W and which part of the uh, string is WR okay. So that is actually a problem in this one. So if you suppose I take a string as A A that is W is equal to A then the string will be A A that is this is W and this is W R ok. So if you come uh, now again come back to this one what we did in this one we got A we pushed it we got B we pushed it we got B we pushed it. So if you see closely the first element that was here is A we pushed it. So the first element is pushed in. Now after a b came that is different element is coming so we are again pushing it so we are pushing pushing for the different element also now after b b is coming so we are pushing for the same element also then c came after that we are popping only for the same element that is b to b b to b a to a so we are popping only for the same element but when when we are working in the wr field wr part of the string okay so, in this one if you see all the elements are same, this is A then again A same element again A same element again A same element. If I see manually I know that this is the center of the string but our computer system does not know which is the center of the string. If I make it learn that we have to 
pop for the same elements then what it will do the first element will come it will uh, push this out and then it will pop this out so I, I i don't have any means to make sure that this part of the string is actually the reverse of the string okay this will be accepted fine that is we push this element again same element comes we pop it okay so uh, what it, i will do in this one simple is that uh, first element comes we will push it okay now second element comes if it is a different element no issues we'll push it but if a if a same element comes then i'll take two paths that is if the center is not found i will continue to push it if the center is found i will start popping okay so we have a here and then again i have the same element so at this point till now we haven't uh, reached the center yet so what i'll do i'll continue pushing and then after this part again i'm getting two a's now i know that this is the center so from here onwards i'll start popping so every time i see two same elements i will take two paths one for pushing the element if the center is not found one for popping the element if the center is found okay so let's design a PDA rather a NPDA for this one okay so I'll tell you afterwards what is uh, the difference between NPDA and DPDA so we are at state Q not initial that is the initial state and the suppose we have a string as a a a a or we can take a string as b b b b anything we can take okay so uh, I'll start with this one so the first element that comes is a okay and the top stack element will be z0 because if i take a stack here what we have in this we have z0 here so the element to process is a the top stack element is z0 what do we do we simply push it so whatever element comes first has to be pushed in okay that is the first part of the string that is w needs to be pushed in into the stack so similarly if b comes first that is the element to process is b the top stack element is z0 what do we do we simply push it okay now i told you that in the first part of the string if a different element comes there is no issue in that at all okay if the different element comes we simply have to push it okay because in the wr part we'll only get the same element why because if when w is pushed into the stack the topmost element of w will be the first element of wr okay so that will be the reverse actually of it okay so again the topmost element here is a and i get a b here okay the topmost element in stack is a what do we do we simply have to push it similarly here if i get a here the topmost element in stack is b what do we do we simply have to push it so all the elements will be pushed in first a comes will be pushed in first b comes will be pushed in after a if b comes will be pushed in after b if a comes it will be pushed in now there comes a catch that is i have come across with the same element now this a is pushed in and we have a in the stack now and the pointer is now on to the second day okay now the element process is a and the topmost element in stack is a now if i see manually i know that this part of the string needs to be pushed into the stack to make sure that this will be the reverse of it okay so this i need to push in so for the same element i know i have to pop also but when when i reach the center point but till now i haven't reached the center point so our system does not know whether we have reached the center point or not so every time we see similar elements i'll take two moves okay so if the center is not found what i'll do i'll simply push this element a into the stack so what i'll do the element to process is a the top stack element is a what do we do we simply push it when when the center is no fo not found that is no center i've written here okay similarly here the if the element process is b the top stack element is b what we'll do we'll simply push it when if the center is not found okay now if the center is found that is we have reached on to this point so from here onwards i have to start popping for the same element so i'll take another move that is what i'll write here if the uh, element process is a the top stack element is a what do we do we simply have to pop this out if the center is found similarly the element to process is b the top stack element is b what do we do we simply pop it if the center is found okay so 
you can see in this one we have taken two moves for a that is the elementary process is a top stack element is a we are pushing we are popping for b we are popping we are pushing so we are taking two paths for the same input okay so now i'll reach on to some state say q1 now at q1 what we are doing we are popping so we have popped the first element so we have pushed two elements now the third element comes what we'll do we'll simply pop this out okay so from here because we have several a's we can uh, come up with several a's and several b's so several a's and b's b's needs to be popped out so here i'll take a self loop that is this one only that is element of process is a the top stack element is a we simply have to pop this out similarly here the element of process is uh, b and the top stack element is b what we do we simply have to pop this out okay now all the elements are popped out what is left epsilon is left the top stack element is z naught we simply skip it and we reach on to some final state and we are done so this is the npda for the language l is equal to wwr now if you see this one we have for a single input we have two paths this one and this one this one and this one so i i can go on to different paths for the same single input that's why it is called as a npda and not a dpda okay now i'll take this same string and i'll try to accept this uh, string with this machine okay and see how the computer system uh, takes the path on every input okay so let's see this now i'll take a string so a string we have is uh, double a double a and the initial state we have is q naught and the top stack element we have is z naught okay so i'll see this this is called as instantaneous description what is called it is called as instantaneous description okay so i'll show the instantaneous description of a string double a double a okay so the pointer is currently on to the first day and we are at state q naught so at q naught a comma z naught so do we have any move for this one yes on q naught we have a comma z naught it is saying that we have to push this a into the stack so what i'll do i am reaching on state q naught only okay so where i'll reach i'll reach on q naught only this a is processed what is left three a's are left now one two three and this a is pushed into the stack so it is now a z naught okay and the pointer is now on to this one okay again at q naught a comma a so at q naught a comma a so we have two moves now at q naught this one and this one okay so our computer system will take both the paths it will not select any single path it will take both the paths and wherever it is finding the final state that will be the correct path otherwise it will down the line go somewhere and terminate okay so what i'll do at q naught a comma a i have two paths so i'll take two paths here one for the no center one for the center so no center is this one so what is saying it is saying that when you see the same input you simply have to push it and stay on state q naught so what i'll get i'll get q naught only and this a is processed two a's are left and it is saying that we have to push it so we have got double a z naught here so we i'm just uh, uh, just showing this okay usually we show only two elements in the stack but here we are showing it so i will show every element into the stack okay so the pointer is now on to this a okay if i take the center one that is at q naught a comma a at q naught a comma a this is for the center one so it is saying that we have to pop the element so we'll reach on state q1 so it will be q1 comma this a is processed two a's are left and what is saying if we have to pop this element out so what is left we have z naught here and the pointer is on to this a okay now again i'll come to this one okay at q naught a comma a again i have two paths this one and this one and at q naught so i'll again take two paths okay one will be the no center one will be the center okay if i take the no center one that is this one that is i'll reach on the state q not only this a is processed one a is left and this is pushed in so it is triple a z not okay if i take a center one so what we have here 
I'll follow this path. So we'll reach on state Q1 and this A is process, 1A is left and it is saying we have to pop this out. So we are left with A Z0 into the stack. Okay. Come to this one. At Q1 A comma Z0. At Q1 A comma Z0. We don't have any move for this one. So it will terminate here. Okay. That is the wrong path. It will terminate here. Now come to this one. Pointer is on to this A. Pointer is on to this A. Okay. So at Q0 A comma A. Again at Q0 A comma A. I have two paths. Again I will follow. Take two paths. One for the center. One for the no center okay so if i take the no center one that is it is saying we have to push it so again i'll stay on state q naught and this a is processed epsilon is left and this a is pushed in so we have got four a's followed by z naught if i take the center one that is i'll go on to state q1 okay and this a is processed Okay, this A is processed, what is left? Epsilon is left and it is saying that we have to pop this element out. So this element will be popped out, two A's are left. So I will write A, A, Z not here. Okay, come to this one. At Q1, A comma A. At Q1, A comma A. It is saying we have to pop this element out. Okay, so what I will do? Stay on state, Q1 and A comma A. We simply have to pop this out. What is left? Epsilon is left. This A is popped out. Z0 is left into the stack. Okay. Come to this one again. So we have Q0. So at Q0, Epsilon comma A. At Q0, Epsilon comma A. I don't have any move here. So this will terminate here. Okay. At Q1, Epsilon comma A. At Q1, Epsilon comma A. We don't have any move for this one also. So it will also terminate here. Come to this one. At Q1, Epsilon comma Z0. At Q1, Epsilon comma Z0. We have a, one move for this one. That is, we will reach on to state Q2. That is your final state. So this is the correct path that we are following. And all the other paths are wrong. Okay. So this is the NPDA. Why NPDA? Because for the same input, we are having two paths for two paths here also here also so at several places we are getting two paths for the same input that is why it is called as a npda and not a dpda okay thank you so much